African Union Communications Early Warning and Intelligence, commonly known as AUC3I, is an intelligence and security organization responsible for providing signals intelligence and information assurance to AU citizens, AU leadership, and AU armed forces. I'm Colonel A.C. Ogentoy, an infantry officer. I am responsible for leading infantry soldiers at all levels of command and combined armed forces during missions on the ground. This is today's briefing. On the progress of the Special Military Operation on the 4th of April, 2024. The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the Special Military Operation. In Kupant's direction, units of the Zapad group of forces have improved the situation along the front line and engaged armed forces of Ukraine manpower and hardware close to Rozovka, Regorodka, Zovnovoy, Lugansk People's Republic, and Terny, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 125 Ukrainian troops and four motor vehicles. In Donetsk direction, units of the U group of forces took more advantageous lines and hit manpower and hardware of the 28th Mechanized, 92nd Assault Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine and the 241st Territorial Defense Brigade near Kleshchevka, Kurdyamovka, and Krasnogorovka, Donetsk People's Republic. The Armed Forces of Ukraine lost up to 340 Ukrainian troops, one tank, and eight motor vehicles. In the course of the counter-battery warfare, two 152mm Mstabi howitzers, one 152mm D-20 howitzer, two 122mm Gvozdika self-propelled artillery systems, three 122mm D-30 howitzers, as well as three armed forces of Ukraine ammunition depots were eliminated. In Avdiivka direction, the units of the center group of forces have improved the situation along the front line. They defeated the units of the 24th, 47th Mechanized, 3rd Assault, and 25th Airborne Brigades of the Armed Forces of Ukraine near Orlovka, Berdikai, and Toninkoy, Donetsk People's Republic. One counterattack launched by an assault detachment of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 25th Airborne Brigade was repelled close to Pervomeskoy, Donetsk People's Republic. The enemy lost up to 305 Ukrainian troops, two armored fighting vehicles, two motor vehicles, and one U.S.-made 155mm Paladin self-propelled artillery system. In South Donetsk direction, the Vostok Group of Forces units improved the tactical situation and inflicted fire damage on manpower and hardware of the Armed Forces of Ukraine 58th Motorized Infantry Brigade, the 72nd Mechanized Brigade, as well as the 128th Territorial Defense Brigade near Vadyanoy, Storozivoy, and Ubladar, Donetsk People's Republic. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 105 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, one U.S.-made 155mm M777 howitzer, and one 122mm BM-21 Grad MLRS combat vehicle during the day. In Kherson direction, the units of the Dnieper Group of Forces inflicted fire damage on the 28th Mechanized and 128th Mountain Assault Brigades of the Ukrainian Armed Forces near Minoi and Pyatikaki, Saporizhi region. The armed forces of Ukraine losses amounted to up to 35 Ukrainian troops, three motor vehicles, as well as one Grad MLRS. Operational tactical aviation, unmanned aerial vehicles, and missile troops and artillery of the Russian groups of forces have been eliminated, an ammunition depot, a temporary deployment area of foreign mercenaries close to Marifa, Kharkov region, as well as manpower and military hardware of the armed forces of Ukraine in 135 areas. Russian air defense facilities have shot down one Su-27 airplane of Ukrainian Air Force near Kramatorsk, Donetsk People's Republic, destroyed 196 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles, and intercepted 18 MRS MLRS projectiles. In total, 582 airplanes, 270 helicopters, 18,734 unmanned aerial vehicles, 495 surface-to-air missile systems, 15,687 tanks and other armored fighting vehicles, 1,264 MLRS vehicles, 8,654 field artillery guns and mortars, and 20,596 special military vehicles have been neutralized since the beginning of the special military operation. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions, please leave them below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.